Hello. So now in the last 10 sessions, I had given you a brief overview of how unity works. And now we are going to step into unity by creating a project. The project that I am going to show it to you now has been designed for NCERT by us to make educational contents. So, this will be a very good demonstration to you to show how you can use unity to develop educational content. So, what we are going to build today is a complete solar system. So, to do this I will just show you the preview of what we are going to build today. So, I will just show you the preview. So, I am going to make an application this can be run on windows or mac OS or on android or even on your website ok. So, now what we are now going to do is so I am going to show you. So, once we launch this application you are going to see this entire solar system and if I click on Mars my camera is going to follow Mars. If I click on earth it is going to follow earth. We have a uh, sound space sound running around in the background. Say as I click on different planets I get that particular planet view. Say if I click on Venus I will see Venus. So, right now you can make this for all the 9 planets. So, now to just give you a preview of it today I am now just going to show you some 5 planets. You can implement the same concept and make it for all the planets ok. So, let us begin this exploration of making this solar system now. So, what we are now going to do is our first job is launch unity hub. So, we are going to launch unity hub and once unity hub is launched I am now going to create a new project and I am going to use the same 3D core as your default template and I am going to name this as solar system. I am giving it the name as solar system. The location of my project is e unity project and in this I am now going to save my project. So, with this I am just going to click create project. So, now you have to wait for few seconds till unity builds up the project. Now, unity has been launched and the very first thing we are going to do is come to this project window here and in assets right now we have only one folder called as scenes and if I double click it in it you are seeing a sample scene. I am going to click on this sample scene and I am going to right click and rename this as solar system. So, I am giving it the name as solar system you can see here and then now this is the scene that we are going to work now it by default has one main camera and one direction light. Now, whatever assets are needed for this projects I have downloaded everything from internet and I am now giving it to you so that to save the time for you to search all the textures everything I have downloaded. What I have done is I have in the link that I am shared with you there is a folder called solar system assets dot zip. Now, what you have to do is right click on it go to WinRAR or a you use any extraction software and extract all these zip files. And if you open this folder you basically have two main folders one is sounds and another is textures. Now, you have to bring all these files into your projects. So, for this what you have to do is first come to unity select assets you I am in assets folder I have only scenes folder now I will come back to my folder which I have unzipped I will drag this sounds and put it into this assets folder. If I drag and drop this you can now see all these sound files will be copied and if you double click it there are three sound files present in it. So, I will go back to assets 
and then again from this asset link you have textures. I am going to drag this textures and put it over here and again in textures you have all the textures you can see. So, with this done now this is the basic thing that we are going to build and then now we are going to start building our project. So, the very first thing we are now going to do is we are going to add our objects. The objects that we are going to add is all our planets. How are we going to create this planet? Very simple. We will go here in the plus, go to 3D object and I am going to choose a sphere. A sphere has been created, come to transform and reset it so that it is placed exactly at the center. Now, this sphere I will just zoom it is at the center and I am going to click on this press F2 on my keyboard and I am going to name this as sun. Now, this sun is exactly at the center. I am now going to scale it by around 1.5 unit along all the three axes. So, I have scaled it by 1.5 unit. Now, to make the game run in an efficient way, what I am now going to do is, I am going to come to assets, I will right click and I will choose create, uh, create now a folder and I am going to call this folder as prefabs. And in this prefabs folder now, I will double click it, I will drag this sun and put it over here. So, this is now a prefab and this prefab is called as sun. So, using this sun we are going to create all other planets. Duplicate this, press control D and this will be duplicate and I am going to name this second uh, duplicated uh, prefab as mercury. I will give it the name as mercury and for this mercury now I am going to change its size. First of all, I will move it along the x axis by around 1.4 units and then I will scale it down to around 0 0.15 along all the three axes. 0 0.15 along x, 0 0.15 along y and 0 0.15 along z. So, I have scaled it down. So, I have now created two objects. The next thing I am going to do is, I am going to select this sun again. I will press control D and I will make one more copy and for this copy I am now going to call this as Venus. I will give it the name as Venus and for this Venus now, what I will do is, I will move along the x axis by around 2.66 units and then I will set its scale to around 0 0.3. I will make its scale 0 0.3 along all the three axes. And after this, again I will go to sun and I will again going to duplicate it. I will press control D to duplicate and I am now going to name this as earth and naming this as earth and for this earth now what value I am going to give is, I am now going to move it approximately by around 4.07 along the x axis and I am going to set its scale now to 0.5 along all the three axes. So, I have created now four objects here and after this again I will come back to sun. I will press control D and this time I am going to call this as Mars and giving it the name as Mars. Now, I will move it along the x axis by approximately 5.54 units and I will uh, set its size to around 0.4 in x, 0.4 in y and 0.4 in z. So, now I have created four planets and we have the sun. Yes, I will select sun, I will press control D and now I am going to call this as now as moon and calling it as moon now, 
I will move it along the x axis by around 4.6 units and only thing is now I have set the earth at 0 0.5 and I will set this size to around 0 0.1. I will make its size around 0 0.1 along x, y and z axis. So, now I have the moon placed here. Now, only thing is the view you are seeing here, this view is actually the view of our scene. If I come to game view, this is how this will appear in the game view. Now, what I will do is I can just drag this game view outside and put it outside like this. So, now I will keep this scene view and game view next to each other, so that I can preview it in a better way. And this game view is dependent on this camera position. See, as I move the camera, the game view is going to change. Right now, I will move it by around uh, minus 12 along the z axis and along the y, I will keep it 0, so that it is at the same level as the earth. Okay. So, this is the view you are seeing it and right now, all these are simple spheres and I want to convert these spheres, I want to add the right materials. So, for this I will come to textures and in textures you select this sun and you have one sun map here. I will drag this sun map and put it over this sun. So, now you have the sun material applied to this. So, similarly I will then select the moon, where is the moon it is here. I will drag this moon material and put it over the moon here and as soon as I drop it you can see the moon material is applied and similarly now I will select Mars and for Mars, Mars is here I will select the Mars material here. So, where is Mars material it is here. So, I will select Mars here and I will drag this texture and drop it over Mars. Similarly, I will select earth, I will drag the earth material on this earth and then I will select Venus and I am now going to drag this Venus material over here. Okay. So, this is Venus and finally, you have mercury here and I will drop this mercury material on this mercury. So, now you can see all the planets are given the right materials. And now, one final thing that I want to do now is, see this sun is actually, this sun is actually you what sun you are seeing, this is an emitter, it is emitting light. So, I want the light to come from sun to illuminate all other planets. So, for this I will select sun and now when I have dragged the texture, if you come to materials, it has automatically created see in materials, I have this 6 materials created. In that I will select the sun material and selecting the sun material here, if you come in the options here, you have one option here called as emission. So, I will click on the emission and I will enable emission and after I enable emission, you have a square box on the left of the color. Uh, now, what I will do is I will come to texture and I am going to drag this uh, mercury texture from here and put it on this okay, for the emission and after I put it on that in color, I am now going to select a color uh, somewhere at this point. What I will do is I will set a value of approximately 222 and uh, 81 and uh, or 82 and 66. So, I choose some color like this and I will set this color. So, this is now illuminating the light from it. You are seeing the sun bright and you are now getting the light from the sun. So, or otherwise what I will do is instead of mercury, I will drag and put the Venus map here. I will attach Venus map. Okay. So, with this we have made the basic arrangements ready.
like this you can create all the nine planets so with this we have made the scene ready now i will go to file and i am going to save it in our next session now we are going to work with the script now we want every planet to rotate around its orbit and all are not going to rotate at the same speed depending upon the mathematical calculation different planet should rotate around its uh, that is uh, axis and at the same time they should also revolve around sun and if you come to moon moon should revolve around the earth and this entire thing we are going to implement it using game logic and how are we going to implement it using the script that let us understand it in our next session thank you